Hi everyone! As you can tell from our video title, we are in our next country which is... The Philippines! We arrived yesterday and we are staying at the BGC East. The room is really nice and we are paying £16 a night and it's a great location so we can easily walk around to pretty much everywhere. We've got a really exciting day planned. We're going to share with you what we think of Manila, the Philippines. It's both of our first times here and Never we been are here so before. excited to be here. But first, we need to take our laundry. <laughs> First impression of the Philippines so far is the people here are super, super friendly, super helpful. From the airport to our hotel, like the taxi driver, everyone is super helpful and I just, I can't believe how helpful they are. All we've done so far is leave the airport and got our SIM card and oh, the guy who helped us with our SIM card was so nice. He even used his own number to help us <laughs> sort our SIM card out. Everyone is really friendly and they go out of their way to help you, which is really, really nice. Even the immigration officer, he was like, yeah. oh, what are you guys doing here? And I kind of explained we're here to make content and obviously see the Philippines and they actually asked for our YouTube. No, These things don't really happen haven't, haven't when you come yet. through immigration. It's, it's usually a place where naturally you feel quite scared. Yeah, you're quite Nervous, everyone right? was so nice and everyone was chatting to us and the guy even made, a mis um, not a mistake, he made a joke saying, oh George Bush <laughs> 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 and people don't normally make jokes at immigration but yeah it was funny. Yeah, yeah I've been waiting for you, you come back. We've been waiting for you. We have enough now. Come, come, ten kilos. <laughs> Three kgs. More, 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 three kilos. Whoa, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you. Oh, they were so friendly. If you're if you're needing to get your washing done in Melina, come to Pink Coral Laundry Shop. <laughs> so in we didn't realise, but you have to make three kgs. We did come yesterday, and we didn't quite have three kgs, so now we do, and they remembered us, which was really nice. It's so nice to interact with the locals, and as you can see, everyone is super, super friendly. And so friendly. Yeah. So we've now found out what hello is. Hello is salamat, and if I'm saying it right, and thank you is como esta, hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully that's right. Um, yeah, so we're going to try and learn as many words as we can to interact with the locals. But if there's any other important phrases, do let us know in the comments what you guys like to hear from us. <laughs> we absolutely love markets, so we decided to check out the Legatsby Sunday Market, <laughs> if I'm saying that right. And because we're running late, we're going to get a taxi, a grab, instead of the, I think they're called GPs because I think it's going to take us time to figure that out. So I'm going to call a grab right now. One thing I've noticed so far in the Philippines is that it's very modern, but then if you come to the back street, you can see that there is more of a community and lots of locals stay very central in Manila. So which is cool, which is something you don't really see every day. Because most places you go to where the city is, there's not a lot of, uh, sort of houses and neighborhoods like this. How much is that doggy in the window? <laughs> Just money my own business. There's a chicken in there. Oh. Wait, he's stopping. It's so much quieter on the roads this morning compared to last night when we arrived. It was crazy and everyone was beeping. And I think people beep to let you know they're there, but also just beep for the sake of it. It's quite funny. What's your name? What's your name? Ah, my name is Keta. 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 Oh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Looks very good. 
And this, this is garlic? Yeah. Oh, okay. For sauce, sauce. Oh, sauce. Oh, okay, okay. Smells really good. <laughs> wow, smells really nice. I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, we're going to Omaha. Looks really good, yeah, isn't yeah, yeah. it? <laughs> hey! No. It's the lunch is no. fish and pork. <laughs> what's and what's your favorite Filipino dish? Uh, pork in Nihau and bangus in Nihau. Oh. Oh. What, what should we try? Lichon. Lichon babon. Babon, oh, babon. okay. Babon. Hello. It's interesting because I think most people would say, oh, they're just being friendly because there's the camera, but we really have experienced everyone being so friendly to us without us having a camera. And I think it definitely changes how people are when you put a camera in their face, but they're just more friendly. <laughs> um, but they're still really, really friendly off camera. Like every interaction we've had, everyone smiled and been so nice to us. So it's really, really nice to have that when you come to a new country. So our first impressions so far, really big thumbs up. <laughs> We've arrived! Okay, it's 11 now, it starts at 2, so we've got a few hours to eat as much as we can, basically, and explore. But the market starts at 7.30, and as I said, yeah, closes at 2, so... And it's only on Sundays, so let's go see. Oh, it looks so good. Friends! Thank you! Don't be shy! Oh, it's good. I'll let you try. Mm. Mm. Why is it like oh, a kofta. A kofta? Really good. What I've also noticed is, um, well it's a Sunday, everyone's out with their families, but Philippines and Filipino people seem like such a community, especially where we're staying. It's a really nice area actually, because even though we're in such a great location with built up areas, there's side streets and the kids are running around and it's really nice to see. There's, you definitely get the feeling of a local life, which is so nice. I love that. Is this a uh, Philippine? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. A Filipino drink. Oh, okay. Alright, uh, we got some drinks. Uh, firstly, I got the Filipino Kulaman grass jelly drink, and it's really, really sweet, but it's really refreshing. And for 45 peso, which is just under a pound, really nice. Really good, yeah. What's your rating? Sweetness, probably 9 out of 10. In terms of the flavor, a good 8. What about you? What did you get? I got, I'm boring. I just got a fruit shake, but I got mango and watermelon. Nice. And because I didn't get any syrup, it was a bit more. 80 pesos. <laughs> Which is like just just over a pound. Really One nice. pound is 65 pesos, mm, right? Delicious to start the day. Thank I you. also like your videos. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We got a meat pitta <laughs> and it was 200 pesos and we asked for spicy. We wanted to try some Filipino food, but we couldn't really see any. And I think because we got to the market a little bit later, some places were shutting, so we just thought we'd quickly get something and then we'll get some... We'll try and find some Filipino food later in the day. This is going to start us off. We've just finished eating and now we are heading off to the mall. The area we're in, which we've just left the market now, is really nice, really built up. Um, I think there's a few fancy hotels around here. They even have bicycles that you can rent. So it's actually really well equipped for, well, for, for office people, for people who live in the city centre, but also tourists. Um, it's really easy to get around and they have such big pavements <laughs> to walk down, which I love Bangkok, but Bangkok does not have. <laughs> so there's a few cities that we've struggled to walk around, but it's really easy, isn't it? Also, what I've noticed is well that lots of security here, they carry guns, like, I mean, big guns, like shotguns yeah. and assault rifles, and, and most of them have like a pistol. So it does make you feel safe, but at the same time, I'm like, oh, has a big gun. So I read that the Philippines gets its name from the king of Spain, Philip II, because they colonized in the 16th century. It was under Spanish control for 333 years, <laughs> if I got that right. We're now at the Greenbelt shopping mall. There's five different small malls in this complex and we are going to mall number number three. <laughs> so let's go. It's actually green belt five that we're going into. When I did research, Manila and the Philippines, they're known for shopping malls. And Manila even has 
some of the biggest malls in Asia, which we definitely want to check out on a separate video, I think, on another day. When we come to cities, we do go into malls, but we're not massive shoppers, would you say? No, but there's a few shops that we do like, <laughs> apart from food, we love coming into malls for food, but there are a few shops we do like to go into, even if we don't buy, and that is adventure, travel, like bags, Luggage, just any, yeah. random bits. Anything basically. to do with travels. Yeah, yeah. Every, anything to do with travel. We never really buy anything because we don't have any room and also we're on a budget, but we can still look. Bat has just spotted this place. Urban traveler. So we're definitely gonna go in and have a look. <laughs> and it's nice to have a break from the AC. From the heat rather, and get the AC. Yeah. I don't know if it's every man, but Bat has a thing for bags. Tell, us in, the comment, bags, tell us in the comments if that's a man thing. It's definitely a man thing. <laughs> We're having a little stop and rest. So we decided to get this Jamaican patty, which is beef and cheese. 75 peso, pesos. Mmm. Oh, we just met the nicest person ever. Thank you so much, John. It was so lovely to chat to you. And we, <laughs> he works at Filipino Heritage Library and he was giving us loads of information about the Philippines. It was so, so helpful. And he even bought us drinks, so thank you so much. Thanks, John. It just shows, <laughs> thanks, John. <laughs> it just shows that people are just so nice here. We're, we're just so happy to be here. Um, but from John's advice, we're going to go to San Augustin Church now, which is, I just looked it up, it's the oldest stone church in the country. And I think it's going to be really interesting to see a different side to Manila. And yeah, so we've basically got all different bits of Manila in our day. Oh, it's such a nice church. Someone's getting married in there. I was reading about the history of the church and so when the Spanish came to the Philippines they spread the Christian faith and they built churches and this was one of the churches they built and interestingly in 1941 <laughs> the Japanese bombed 10 bombed Philippines 10 hours after the Pearl Harbor attack. This was the only building left in the area standing so it's been standing since the 16th century but it also survived world war ii which is really amazing and it's very different to where we were previously in bgc and makati it's more of a local vibe would you say definitely <laughs> and there's that you can definitely see the spanish influence uh, on the architecture of the buildings but it's really nice. It's nice to see a, a difference yeah. um, but, and a contrast. Yeah, at the same time, there's a sense of community here as well, as mm. well as lots of tourists. Also, there's, there's yeah. horse and cart as well. And tuk-tuk. Was it a tuk-tuks? <laughs> yeah, tuk-tuks. Yeah. yeah, kind of cycle. Like, some some yeah. tuk-tuks, but more cycle tuk-tuks where they want to take you on a tour around. But that's because it's quite a concentrated area where there's a lot of uh, tourist attractions. Like so churches. You've, yeah, and churches, and you've got the cathedral um, and the museums. So, yeah, it's a nice area. It's cool. wow. I love your persistence. What's up? Welcome to Old Manila. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Goya. Goya? Yeah, Goya. I'm leaving there. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you. All right, let's go. So we just got off the cycle ride and we strictly just did half an hour and agreed that it was 3.50 so we pre-agreed it before going in yeah. and I think I said it about three times to him I was like okay 3.50 for half an hour and then when we got out the cycle thing he was like I, got, I, got, I was going to give him a tip as well so I gave him 400 and then he was like, no, 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 350 each. And uh, I don't know, I think it's been a long day. So we just didn't want to argue. Yeah. And, but yeah, we got scammed basically <laughs> because we asked the security guard. We're now at Fort Santiago and we asked the security guard. He was really, really friendly. And we asked him, he said, let me explain it to you. And then he took us to the sign and explained and said, no, 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 all together, one or two person together. So yeah, we overpaid twice, but. It's all right. 
it is what it is. Now we're just going to walk around and view it ourselves and read the signs. <laughs> Hello. Do you want to be in? Hi. <laughs> Hi. What's your name? James Bay and Sawaya. What's your name? James Bay and Sawaya. Jen James Bay or Sawaya? James Bay and Sawaya. Oh, James. Very Bay. long name. Very long name. <laughs> <laughs> and your name? Lohasan. Lohasan. Oh, okay. Oh, nice to meet you. Bye. 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 Filipino people are so nice. Yeah. I think there's, that's the thing. There's going to be scams wherever you go. Yeah. I understand that people are trying to make their money. Yeah. Uh, it's just frustrating as a tourist. But it doesn't take it away from everyone we've met has been so friendly. Super friendly. Yeah. We've now arrived at BGC and we're going to find some Filipino food and just walk around, explore and see what else we can find really. Yeah. But the taxi ride here was actually really nice. We got to see, I just love looking out the window because you see so much. And we saw a parade. I don't know what it was for, but it was it was really fun. They were making loads of noise with drums and carrying flowers and things. So oh, it was really nice to see. Wow, it's so different to where we just were before, but it's so built up. There's so many shops here, restaurants. It's really nice. People are sitting out having drinks, eating food, and you've got all the brands as well, like Zara, I mean, all the branded shops. Um, we're just gonna go into this mall and see if we can find some Filipino food. But, oh, it's so nice, such a community. We've got water fountains, <laughs> there's, there's everything here. I think we found a place. Wow, what are you gonna get? All this delicious food. Mm. Now, here's all the Filipino food. This Wait. one looks really good. This is a lichon patsu. Okay. This one looks really nice. We just tried lichon for the first time and how would you rate it? It was really, really nice, especially the sauce. The gravy was almost like something I've had in Thailand before, but this one is much more sweeter and the pork was really tender, but at the same time it's crispy. And I also got a bowl of sushi rice, which was really, really nice. And we're now just going to walk around and enjoy BGC. But so far, we're really loving it. It's so lively. Everyone's out. It is a Sunday, but it's so nice. It's all happening here. There's so many people. There's a stage. <laughs> We've just turned up and yeah, I don't know what's happening, but it's, it's so much fun. There's so much energy here. We're going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. And I forgot to say, if anyone has any recommendations, especially Filipino food, where we should try traditional or just good Filipino food, let us know because we were trying to find some today. <laughs> and we did eat in the morning, it was really nice, but we'd love to try more. And yeah, any other recommendations for the Philippines, we would appreciate it because we're hopefully going to extend our visa and we're so excited to be here. And it's been really nice exploring Manila, especially getting to know the Filipino people. Thank you and we'll catch you in our next video where we will be trying some sort of food. Thanks so much guys for watching. Thanks. Bye. Bye.